on the soap operas. So if you love the soap operas, you got to love sin. Yeah. The sister said to me, everybody watches the soaps. I said, I don't watch them. I don't need to. I said, sister, if you would spend as much time in prayer and Bible study as you did watching soap operas, you'd be so anointed, you could lay hands on a mailbox. Right. And the mailbox would jump about the country and speak in tongues and dance all the way to the post office. I said, the reason you have no anointing is because you're putting your time in the wrong place. I said, let me explain to you. <laughs> The 30th Psalm, verse number 5, the Bible said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's the real edge of night. Psalms 119, verse 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Now that's the real guiding light. And Proverbs 418 said, The path of the just is as the shining light, which shineth more and more until the perfect day, and there's your search for tomorrow. Look at them. They're standing on the edge of night, holding the guiding light, searching for tomorrow. Exodus 32 and 6 said, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Now who was that? The young and the restless? <laughs> Isaiah 43, she may uncover her thigh and may bare her leg. Who was she? Going around half naked, showing off what her mama gave her? The bold and the beautiful? All right. Jeremiah 31, 3, God said, I have loved